Hi Virgo, this is Jackie Tomlin and this video it will cover your entire month of March 2017. Thank you guys for stopping by. Also want to remind you to check out your weekly videos as well. If you're looking for a personal reading, please contact me on my website. It is www.ms-swami.com and you'll find a link to that below this video. Um, energy is really good for Virgo for the um, for the month of March. It does look like the kind of the beginning of the month starts out with a lesson well learned, uh, but at the same time with that lesson being well learned, it restores your balance and you're very optimistic and very much moving forward with goals and plans. Also coming in strong is those, the work and the career. Uh, jobs are coming in strong as far as income, being busy, uh, raises, promotions, things of that nature. Looks like you're also going to get a jump start on making some summer plans. And I am looking for a lot of you, some unexpected company, maybe some unexpected assistance. So let's take a look. This is for Virgo for the month of March 2017. Virgo, we start with the Seven of Wands. Followed by the Major Arcana of the Fool, the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Six of Cups. So let me break this down for you and we'll go from there. And we start with the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands is where I was talking about there's a lesson well learned. It does show that you're taking on your obstacles one by one and you're knocking them out. So you're really getting a lot done, both, both in the personal life as well as the professional life. This is a very productive month for Virgo. The Fool, of course, warns of foolish decisions. Be mindful in your decisions. Don't be so... Um, carefree that you're not thinking ahead and you see he could very easily step off the cliff here so just be mindful of your decisions and of course the ace of swords ace of swords is the time frame of now and that indicates a new beginning for you now moving forward we have the knight of wands we have the eight of cups eight yes and then we have the six of cups Knight of Wands is movement on the home front. This is, could be someone moving in, someone moving out, revamping of the home. Something, Some type of movement is going on on the home front. The Ace of Cups is looking out over the past, a little bit of time, slow time to take the reflection that you need to. And the Six of Cups is someone from your past. This is an actual person that you will reconnect with. You do so in a very positive way. This could also be someone... Um, offering unexpected assistance to you guys. Now moving forward, we have the Eight of Wands, Major Arcana of the Justice card, and we have that Eight of Swords. Let me give you guys one more. We have the Seven of Cups. Okay, so the Eight of Wands indicates total and complete happiness. The Justice card shows that justice will be served. This could also be the signing of a legal document. The Eight of Swords shows self-imposed restrictions. And look at that card, guys, because no one is holding you back but you. So remember that as you progress through the month. And then we go back where I said that you're looking back and you're reflecting over the past. That goes hand in hand with it with the Seven of Cups just shows you've got some daydreaming going on, making of the future plans. So overall, let's take a look at your major arcanas that you had for the month. We have the Fool and we have the Justice card. Full, be mindful of your decisions. Justice, justice will be served, but this is also uh, legal documentation, some type of sign on legal forms for the month. Overall, not a bad month ahead. So thank you for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye.